Assume that you can change. The first step you need to take is to pay attention to your assumptions. Assumptions are crucial. You may not be aware of your assumptions, but they have a tremendous impact on your life. An assumption is a belief regarding the reality of your life, your capabilities, your identity, where you are in the world, and what your rightful place is. These assumptions are choices. Seriously. You choose to interpret reality. They are not hardwired into you. They don't dictate that you have to interpret reality only in one certain way. You always have control over your assumptions. They might not be top of mind. They might not be obvious, but you can control them. Another thing you have going for you is the fact that change is the only constant in life. In fact, as you take this training, you're already changing. You're definitely getting older. There might be ideas that you run into that change certain things that you believe about yourself. It may change some of the things that you do. Regardless, understand that change is part of who you are. Change happens on two key levels. You can change from within and or you change from outside. You have to believe that your ability to change is the key to your mindset transformation. This is foundational. If you cannot bring yourself to this, then it's almost impossible for you to adopt the right success mindset. You're just not making it happen. This is crucial. It is not an option. It is non-negotiable. Here's an exercise to help you strengthen your belief muscles. First, think about three examples from your past where you needed to change, and you did. Maybe one day you do not really feel excited about jogging in the morning, but you know you're gaining weight and you need to run every morning. After a couple of weeks, you finally got to the point where you are jogging every morning. Look for examples like this. It doesn't have to be big. It doesn't have to be dramatic. Regardless, all of us have at least three examples from our past where we needed to change, and we did. Next, analyze what happened. Pay attention to what prompted the change. Why do you feel like you had to do it? What circumstances were present? What was your situation like? What was the trigger or the straw that broke the camel's back? Next, focus on how you were before and how you were doing after the change. Look at the contrast. Again, most people should be able to find situations like this in their life. It doesn't have to be big. It doesn't have to be grandiose. It just has to be real. Look at the contrast. Now ask yourself, what do these experiences teach me about myself? Am I the person who waits until the last minute and disaster is only around the corner for me to make a bold move? Maybe you stopped being lazy and got a job because you're about to get kicked out of your parents' house. Maybe your company announced a layoff program, but they gave people a test that they should take if they want to be retained. Whatever the specific experience may be, pay attention to how you responded to those challenges. Did you wait until your back was against the wall before fear pushed you to make a decision? Or did you want certain changes all along and situations just pushed you? This is the difference between a reactive and a proactive person. There is no right or wrong answer. Either you're born reactive, which means you are motivated primarily by fear or loss, or you are a proactive person, one who is motivated generally by gain. Regardless, if you are a reactive person, dwell on what you can lose in your life if you don't push yourself to change. If you are proactive, focus on how much better your life would be and how awesome it would be to experience your dreams if only you allowed yourself to change. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.